Um, my name is Andrew Siwabesi. I am a master's student right now at California State University, Long Beach, close to uh, Los Angeles. And uh, I'm here to discuss uh, the preliminary outcomes of a one to one million scale geologic map of Terra Samaria, which is the core deliverable of my thesis. So please advance the slide. So um, this uh, mapping uh, endeavor is part of a larger uh, scheme of tasks. Um, my group is largely interested in understanding how the uplift of Tharsis, which we believe, the incipient uplift of Tharsis, which we believe originated around the tectonic center to Cletus Rise, might have influenced um, other areas of surrounding topography. So we can try to understand the nature of, um, uh, of Tharsis's origin. So uh, as you can see, I've delineated four mapping areas here. Um, the one on the farthest east, um, and I'm, I'm, I'm tied to all four of these, but the one on the, to the furthest east is of the Cletus Rise. Um, and there's a separate area to the southwest constituting the west, the easternmost extent of the South Darsus Ridge Belt and what we're provisionally calling Bathus Planum. And then to the west uh, is the gray box in the west is Terra Sirenum, which was the focus of a mapping project uh, we just published in 2019, um, uh, where we believe there to be based in range topography that is spatially associated with uh, updoming at the Cluidus Rise. Now, when we looked further to the west, we could see some evidence of, uh, of north-south ridges comparable to uh, the basin range, to, uh, the, the ridge topographies in that basin and range terrains in Cyrenum, uh, but this time all the way over in the Eastern Hemisphere in Samaria. Um, so that's sort of what motivated us selecting this particular mapping area. You can see about three of them in the, in the very center of the, the Mola Hillshade crop on the right side of this image. Uh, please advance the slide. Uh, so um, we're still trying to identify what the structures of these region really signify, but uh, this is the current state of the map draft. There are about 30 units which are called on uh, this map at this time. Uh, crater counts are still pending. Uh, and, uh, but generally speaking, the kinds of units which are available are, uh, are, are basically highlands and basin units which are not inconsistent with the global map that was previously made of this area by Tanakh and coworkers. Um, I'll, uh, so uh, please uh, progress the slide. Um, as, and, and the real distinction between these highlands and basin units, I'll just show examples here. Uh, uh, high, the highlands units on the left example, which are, it's in a region called the downlands, which I'll explain later. Uh, you have these uh, more uh, rugged, higher standing and uh, steeper terrains, often in Samaria, characterized by fluvial incision that debouch down into these low lying flat or uh, bowl-shaped terrains, um, which are these basins, much smoother when seen on theme this daytime IR. And uh, those are often characterized, at least in the well-developed basins of the downlands, uh, these wrinkle ridges and uh, on occasion knob fields, as you can see in the northern part of the left image. Um, these same basin forms exist on the, in the east on the uplands. Uh, they're just not as well-developed, but you can still clearly uh, define them. Could you please progress the slide? And thank you, Pete. Um, so between the highlands and the, between the highlands and the basin terrains, uh, they're largely uh, separable between two large regions. There's a topographically raised region to the northwest called uh, that I've provisionally termed the uplands, uh, which has these less developed isolated basin forms and are surrounded by peripheral by very elongated peripheral basins. Uh, down to the southeast, what I provisionally termed the downlands, the basins are much more developed, associated largely with the Eridania Paleocene, and um, uh, in general, uh, display these uh, distinct markers of structural control, uh, which are a little bit less clear in certain basins in the uplands. Um, uh, please progress the slide one more time. Uh, so as a final note, um, uh, a part of my mapping area does clip the northern plains. So I just wanted to show examples how I map those. On the left side, you have uh, the Medusi Fossi Formation. Uh, it's southern reaches, at least in the Samaria region, enter my area, it's in the pink. Uh, and it's, uh, you have these high standing plateaus often covered by yardangs, which are embayed by the lavender plains in the back. Um, and I've also separated out certain knobbier terrains um, uh, on the, what, as you move further to the east from where the Medusi Fossa formation sticks out. Uh, but that is the, um, that is more or less the progress of the map at this state. Once crater counts are present, then we'll be able to more uh, rigidly identify a geologic history. Uh, thank you very much. That will conclude my presentation.